I've got so much to do today. I'm gonna do everything I can today. I've got this all. Number 12. This video was supposedly t And suddenly one of the fish gets nailed by a spear and f Oh, it's only nine o'clock. I've got so much of the day, I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna clean my room. What the hell? It's already one o'clock? I, more than I would like to admit, have fallen victim to basically these two skits I've just done at the start. And most of you probably have and are going to. But what if I could tell you I've found a way to be way more productive and take it that next step higher. Now, real quick before we get into this, there is a more realistic way than what I'm about to explain here. But this is for if you want to take it just that step further, just to push the limits and see how far you can go with your productivity, how much you can improve in life. And today I will be showing you. So how I've gained productivity like never before. You've probably heard the system of time blocking thrown around left, right and center. But what does it really entail? In high school, they give you a timetable and a timetable is a strict set of times that you follow with your breaks, with your next classes, and you followed it to a T. You never, even if you hated what was coming next, you still went to it because you knew you could prepare mentally for that class. This is the exact same thing with time blocking, but you are doing the things you want to do and need to do to be productive and maximize your productivity throughout the day. Why would you time block? If you look at your life, the past maybe a year or two, and realize that you are a result of all your habits and all of your productivity has led you to the person you are now. And as great as the progress you've made, there's some a certain point in your life where a switch turns on and you start to realize, I want to take this to the next step. I'm sick of my life right now. I'm ready for the next step. The stuff, the self-improvement I've done is awesome, but I am past that level. And there's another level waiting for you. Time blocking is ultimately how to maximize your productivity in that zone. When you are in that headspace of, I just want to grind. I just want to level up. Productivity maxing in time blocking is what I would argue the next step and is the step I've taken and seen some crazy productivity results. So yes, if you wanna maximize your productivity, if you're fed up in a way of the life you are living and you just want more productivity and less bullshit, this is the way to go. Now, how would you start time blocking? I'm, on my, I'm gonna pull up on my laptop because I'm recording with my phone. I'm gonna pull up the notes app, make a timetable and I'll put on the screen here, me making one. So on the left side, you're gonna want the times. So we're gonna put time here and on the right side, you're gonna want your tasks. So we're gonna put task over here. Start on, in your morning, your one hour, I would say. So 7 a.m. 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. is for, I wake up at seven. So whatever time you wake up, the first hour I would say is doing your morning routine. We will talk about it in the next step, but the first hour should be your morning routine because that is ultimately where productivity and the right mindset is made in that first hour. Not going on your phone, not wasting, not doing all this bullshit, the morning routine. So first, your morning routine, and I would say prioritize and all your schedules should have the morning routine always the same and your bedtime routine to be always the same. Inside can vary because we do have jobs, we do have like life that gets in the way. You can write the title and then put it in bold and then what exactly you wanna do in that task under it. Thing to know, to note is you should have a one hour period somewhere through like midday to like the afternoon where you are, where is a catch up period. So if anything you've missed, you can just quickly catch up on it. But other than that, if you've missed some stuff, if life gets in the way, just leave it. Don't try to catch up any more than just that one block you have. If you, you didn't get to it, the next day can come and you can start doing it then. Don't try to overcompensate for lost time. Just let it go. 
Uh, and if you do try to catch up a bit too much all the time, you will lead to burnout. So I've only been doing time blocking and I've tried it before in the future, but I've only been doing it for like two to three weeks now. And I can tell you my productivity is to a whole nother level. I am so productive and I am enjoying it like never before. I used to like have my to-do list and when certain things would come, I would be like, ah, I can't really be bothered. I'll do it later in the day. I have scheduled, si scheduled time for everything and I am ready for it. I'm excited that it's gonna happen. I'm walking through the house and I'm just obsessing over my, my to-do list, which is something you need to do. You constantly look at your time block and you're constantly reading it all day. I'm at work and I'm reading what I'm about to do uh, for like the last couple hours. Especially if you're working, time blocking is amazing. You are limiting your time of the day, right? They argue that everybody has 24 hours. Well, eight of our hours is taken by work. So the last little bit of time you have left after work, I do recommend you to time block and be as productive as possible. It gets rid of the stress of what should I do next? You already have what you are going to do next. Usually I'll try to make my time block the night before and try not to do it the day of. What I've learned while time blocking in this past like two to three weeks, I've learned that pairing time blocking with a dopamine detox can lead to the most fun productivity possible in life. I look at my list and I get excited like never before. And it's weird to me, like stuff that I would usually procrastinate for days on end. I'm doing like that, I'm excited. It's cool to be productive and not stress about it, not procrastinate all the time. Another thing I've learned, set the most important goals and the hardest goals earlier in the day. After your morning routine, they are the first goals you do. You have the most energy and the least amount of mental fatigue. So you are ready to just hammer down at these goals. I used to always just set mine to the end, like later in the day. And when I get to it, I was too stressed. I'm, I'm too tired. Set them earlier in the day. Always do the hardest things at the start. The thing you keep procrastinating, do it at the start. This will blow your mind with how easy it gets. You just start it and get it done. When I say set the most important thing at the start of the day, do not set things that aren't actually that task, but make that task feel productive. Do the exact task you need. For instance, let's say my goal is to like, let's say my goal is to do my laundry, like my laundry basket over there. In the morning, I would set, do my laundry, not put all my clothes neatly into my basket, which makes it feel somewhat productive. No, do the actual task, not a task that's going to make it seem somewhat productive, like you did something that's going to give you dopamine. Don't do that. Life gets in the way. This is something I had to learn within like the first week. When you were time blocking like this, people are going to message you, hey, let's go out, let's do this, or stuff is going to come. You're going to need to go to doctor, a doctor's appointments. You're going to, stuff's going to happen. Even if you get 50% of this timetable done, you are like 20 times more productive, productive, productive. You are 20 times more productive than you were before having even done a timetable. Just be happy that you are being productive, that you're doing this. And if you can't get stuff done, like I said before, don't catch up on it. Just, it's life. It's going to happen. You are more productive than you ever were before. So don't get caught up in this. If something comes up and it takes away half your day, that's fine. You've already done half a day of productive work and that's already amazing as it is. As you can see in the bottom of my, to -do, uh, my time blocking, there is a small hour where I try to have some balance. That is still something I'm trying to learn myself. I will get to the end of the day and I wouldn't even want to do this hour of balance because the rest of the stuff I was doing already felt great. Most of the days it's filled with reading or something, but there's once a week where I'll be like, I actually kind of feel like it. Now, this might change. So if there is an update video to this, we will see. But yes, I try to add that hour so I can just watch something. I can just, it's like an hour of leisure, like relax, you know? The next thing to the most productive system you can build will be your morning routine. Like I said before a couple times, the morning routine is where you win the day. It builds the right mindset. Did you know going on your phone straight away in while you wake up and just hopping on your phone 
actually makes your brain wired to distraction for the whole rest of the day. Every time you try to focus, you will get distracted because you've taught the brain in the morning that's what you want. So building a strict morning routine of like fun, like stuff you want to do leads to this mindset of just straight grind productivity, <clears throat> which is what you want. And lastly, the most important thing I would say that ties in with the time blocking is removing distractions through a dopamine detox. I've only been doing a like very strict dopamine detox for like two weeks now. It is amazing. The things that I missed in life from just being overstimulated from everything has now come back. I sit on my balcony, as you'll see in these videos, and just blow, my mind gets blown by how gorgeous it is. I'm playing around with my cat and I'm finding enjoyment in it. Stuff that I wouldn't normally, stuff that like life has, that we are too stimulated to enjoy. I am going to make a very in-depth video about this because it is life-changing when you start a dopamine detox. I want to wait until like a month into dopamine detoxing before I make a really in-depth video about it. I have been doing a good portion of dopamine detoxing for a couple years, but this was the next step up and it has brought all of this together. Remove the bullshit out of your life, delete your social medias, and it leads to this realistic awakening of life. The views of life open up to you and you realize, oh, I was following everybody else, but everybody else isn't successful for a reason. Everybody else isn't productive for a reason. There's only a select few who are and they aren't doing what everybody else is doing. I will make a video on this. And I hope everything in this video leads to you understanding how to make your own productive system. I hope it leads to you changing your life in the right way. Because I'm starting to change mine and I want you guys to join me in the journey. Press the like button, subscribe button, post notification button. And please, most of all, the most important one, constructive criticism in the description. Let me know your thoughts, all of the above. Love you all.